Ariel Hawani post-fight at UFC 140 alongside Costa Filippo, who defeated Jared Hammond tonight in the very first round. And Costa, congratulations on the win. You said after, this is the best day of your life. Is that accurate? Is. Yep. Yeah, it is. Uh, I've been waiting for a long time to uh, prove myself, waiting for a long time to get in the UFC. And even after I got in the UFC, if you saw my last fight, you saw the disappointment on my face, even though I won. Uh, and I was uh, waiting for the next fight just to prove that I can actually strike because nobody actually believed that I, I was a good striker. And uh, today I did that. Why is this win more satisfying than the last one? Because the last one, you took the fight on short notice and you beat a, a great veteran in, in Jorge Rivera. Yeah, I, I know uh, Jorge was even a, a bigger name, but uh, it was uh, the way I won. Uh, I came in uh, with no game plan this time, uh, just being in shape, um, and I was uh, determined just to get in with a big smile, have fun, no matter what the result was going to be, and just enjoy and do what I like. And that's what I did, walked in with a big smile and walked out with a big smile. Why no game plan? Uh, I had a game plan last, uh, last time, and you saw what happened, so I, I guess just be in shape and that's it, and just react. Do you feel as though you, you haven't gotten the respect that you deserve as a great striker? Obviously, we know about your background in boxing, but yet people don't talk about it as much, and especially you as a great striker. Yes, I don't blame them because I didn't show anything. I know I'm a striker. The guys that they work out with me know I'm a good striker. Nobody else knows because I didn't show them. I showed wrestling and submission attempts and everything but uh, striking. But I think I have a feeling after this fight, they're going to know I'm actually a good striker. You had him rocked a couple times. He came back. You kept rocking him, and then you finally yeah. finished him. At what point did you realize that this guy was on the verge of being the out? The first punch that I, I touched him with my left hook, it was, I barely touched him. I, I, saw in, I saw in his eyes that he was going down, and we ended up on the ground, and I actually had a, a rear naked choke, and it took a lot out of me just to because my corner was yelling, get up, get up, let him up, let him up. And uh, all three times that we went down, it took a lot out of me just to let him and get up because my corner was yelling. And they told me right now, my coach, Ray Lango, he goes, this is the first time you, you actually listen to me. And I go, yeah, I'm changing. I'm, I'm going to listen and I'm going to do what you say. So it worked out. So you can hear them yelling at you and you wanted yes. to do it, but you said... Yes, uh, I, I can hear everything. Uh, even Joe Rogan sometimes when, uh, when I fight, I can hear everything. But... Um, in the heat of the moment, I, I wanted to stay on him and, and keep punching. But um, especially the last time I was right on my corner, uh, I had him on the ground, ground and pounding, and they're, they're yelling at me, just get up. And I had my hand, um, the back of his uh, head, and I go, no, they're telling me get up, but I don't really want to get up. But I did, and obviously it worked out. It was, it was good. He got up, he was already uh, dizzy. I touched him a couple of more times, and um, the referee st stepped in and stopped the fight. Finally, uh, I'm wondering, did you study any tape on him? And if so, did you see anything in his stand-up uh, that, that, that showed you that you could expose him like this? Nothing. I never studied my opponents. I always watch uh, the last fight. I didn't even know who the guy was before. I, I even accepted the fight before I even knew who he was. I watched uh, his last fight with uh, Sibi Dalloway. I saw he was a great fighter, great striker, a tough guy, obviously, uh, coming back from... Um, because uh, he was in trouble the first uh, round with uh, CB Dalloway and came back and dominated the, sec the second round. And even tonight, he proved that he, he was willing to uh, get up and uh, keep coming at me, although I, I don't think he, he realized he couldn't even see me, I, I, I think. so. But he was moving forward and he was game. He wanted to fight. He's a tough guy. Thank you for the time and congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you.